Sections 4.3.3 related Sage Code. And basically, just it, it's rather repetitious, but again, like any tool, tools do become repetitious. I mean, if you use a screwdriver, same thing, hammer, same thing. Uh, you want to be creative with your tools, though, all right? You can do a variety of things with your tools. Anyway, we're solving an equation over here. We have some variables, A, X, and Y, var. I'm going to just put it in as a list now, A, X, Y. And we've done that before, I assume. Whoops. I'm going to assume A is greater than zero, positive number. Again, I look up and I notice I type things wrong, so that's why I'm backing up over that. I'm going to assume X is positive. <coughs> I'm sorry, A is positive number. I'm getting a little bit lazy. I'm going to copy-paste, all right? So copy, paste, copy. And I want to go back over the notes. I want to point out, it appears that A is a parameter in the problem, and X and Y are variables. And why do I say that? It looks like when we're solving this equation, I should say system of equations, that it's, um, it's solving for X and Y. So A is being treated as a parameter. We'd expect to see answers um, in X and Y. Now remember, um, you know, uh, in the past we assigned, um, you know, letters uh, like S for the solution of that. Let, let me just go through that with you. And again, I know it's new. We've done this in prior sections. And like if I, you know, put S and the zero down, and part of using the tool is to reuse it on things, but if you can remember, I'm seeing that. And uh, I'm noticing that, you know, there's a listing there, right? So let me let me type this over here. S. Whoops. Zero. And let me just do this over here and zero again. Let's see what happens. Well, I'm seeing the first entry there. Let me do this now. And let me get the second entry for you. And you've seen me do this before. I'm going to do right-hand side. I'm, I'm expecting to see 17 eighths of an A. I am. Let me go back to S00, and I want to do right-hand side. And I get that number there, right, with the parameter A in it. All right, so let's go back over the notes. And again, the, the point of this is to realize that we've, we've done this by hand, and that's our intention here. And it looks like it's probably this one here, right? Yeah, look at that. Same thing. All right, same thing. And then, so what was the question? Solve for X and Y. And I, I hope they did that. And let's see what they got over here. You know what? It's interesting. The answer they wrote in here is 17 quarters A plus Y. And then they got this 3 root A, you know, Y plus A. And let's see what they got. You know, they make a substitution over here. They got y is 17 a sub an a. You get the idea? Now, certainly, I, I know I didn't finish it out, but I guess you'd have to put the 17 a sub an a over here, right? You get the idea. And what would that give you? Well, let's see, 17 a, and then you get 17 quarters. And that would be what? 30, 3 times 17, that's 51. Yeah, 51 a sub an a. And plus, um, let's see what they got over here. Yeah, I see the Y over there. I guess I have to go through all that work to do that. Yeah, I guess I would. And I don't think I want to do that, but I, I guess I may have done it at the whiteboard. I hope I did. But anyway, we're getting the Y. I just didn't simplify the X too much there. I guess you could do that. Let me see if they did the next page. Yeah, I did. I'm sorry. It's over here. All right, let me go back over there. I just didn't realize I did it. And let's see if we're getting that. 15 quarters, yeah, 30 over 8 is 15 quarters, square root of 2, and then uh, you're getting 51. Yep, same answer. Yeah, I did it. I just forgot I did it. All right, thanks for paying attention.